Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to use head tracking on iOS 26 or later today. So let's get started. In order to use head tracking on iOS 26 or later is, first, go to settings, then scroll down to accessibility, go down to head tracking. It says, head tracking uses the camera to track the movement of your head to control a pointer on the screen and tracks facial movements to perform actions like raise eyebrows, open the mouth, smile, stick out the tongue, eye blink, scrunch nose, a couple of other ones. If you want the head tracking to work correctly, make sure the pointer in the tracking mode tab is set to with face. Otherwise, you have to tilt your head all the way up just to look at the corner of the screen for it to select it. So I'm going to turn it on, and now if I move my head, and now move the cursor. All I have to do is hover my head near an area, then I hold it. Now I'm gonna go back to it same thing, I just held and it selected it. Very simple. Now I'm gonna go and turn off eye tracking. And this is very sensitive. Just like with eye tracking about a year ago, this is very sensitive too. You have to, if you wanna select something, you move the, your head to move a cursor to the menu, then hold very still for a couple of seconds. Then it'll select it. That's how that works. So now, to show you the actions I'm going to turn off the dwell control. That will prevent it from selecting things during the demo. I'm going to set the raised eyebrows to the flashlight. However, I did learn recently after I installed the iOS 26, I, the eyebrows works best with glasses off and holding your phone close to your face like this. Turn it on and there we go. When I raise my eyebrows, flashlight turned on. And there we go, I did it again, it turned off. But since this is a beta, it's still in a work something, it's a little glitchy and buggy where it won't respond every time. You do need a good amount of lighting too for it to see your face actions. And that's totally normal. So that is how I use head tracking on iOS 26 or later. That was pretty much it for this video. If you liked this video, give it a video a thumbs up. Thanks, yeah.